Bonjour à tous, j'espère que vous allez bien. If you live in Australia, you don't have to to enjoy this video, but if you do live in Australia, you may be aware that at the moment uh, in Melbourne and in pretty much uh, every capital um, state capital city, along with a couple of other cities, but not in Tasmania, uh, is the uh, French Film Festival. So the officially the Alliance Française French Film Festival. It's organized by the Alliance Française and it's a, a yearly event. And the film, the movie selection this year is huge. And uh, because I haven't been able to go uh, the last two years with my newborn baby, I decided to treat myself with a few movies this year. And so I'm actually planning to see three of them. I've seen two so far and I wanted to make a little review for you. I'm shooting this on my evening walk and I'm not by myself. Look at those because it's almost sunset uh, in Australia at uh, um, sunrise and sunset there are often cockatoos so uh, yellow crested cockatoos in this area at least there are I'm sure to see them when I go to meditate in the morning or in my in my evening walk so it's uh, it's very nice and uh, so I'm going to take a bench and tell you about my uh, the first movie that I went to see um, the English title and the French title are the same it's called Problemos and uh, it's not a French word actually it's um I don't know if it's proper Spanish, but it's a bit of a slang or like a cool word to say, uh oh, problems. Um, and this movie is uh, directed by Eric Judor, who is also the main actor, is a bold guy uh, in, uh, in the movie. Well, the main actress. Uh, they are actually all the actors uh, in this movie have the specificity to have a, a very important role so I don't know if I can say really that he's the main actor um, and he was um, he's one of the uh, two men forming a very uh, famous uh, duo of comics in uh, in uh, French Eric and Ramsey so he is Eric um, and so this one is a comedy. Uh, so first, why did I choose? I have to send my eye there, so I change bench. Why did I choose to go uh, see that movie? Well, French movies sometimes can be uh, a bit long, sometimes boring, very intellectual. So I didn't want this kind of like slow-paced movie. Um, and uh, there are some excellent dramas, uh, but I very sensitive and uh, uh, the more I get old the more I cry during the movies and I just didn't want something depressive um, so now I wanted something uh, light and entertaining because I'm like uh, very overwhelmed and uh, often complain of being a tired mom so uh, I said on comedy and some of the comedies when you once you've seen the trailer you think that you've seen all the best parts and that you've seen the whole movie so you don't get um, new things out of them and you may get disappointed and this one was a bit of a met, uh, of a bet uh, problemos um, because with uh, Eric Judor uh, it can be very funny uh, but sometimes the humor can be also a bit uh, hit and miss and uh, so I was just hoping that it wouldn't be the case and I did find the movie actually very funny to start with um, not that it got lousy towards the end but from a comedy it evolved into uh, more, uh, more of a drama so I thought this was uh, very interesting so what's the story uh, it's about a chic uh, Parisian couple so Eric and his wife and they also have their their daughter who doesn't really have much of a role in the like we don't really care about her in the movie actually um, they uh, stop over like the um, as they're coming back from holiday they cop they stop at a, a hippie campsite um, because like the the, the main uh, hippie like the organizer of the of the of the camp is uh, the 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 woman's so the the wife's uh, former yoga teacher they actually started to recreate a community uh, a bit outside of the like normal world uh, what they call the Babylonian world uh, because they kind of uh, non-conformist and they want to redo the world and so you know really hippie style and they're also uh, resisting against uh, an aquatic park uh, aquatic park being built on uh, the rear that uh, they are camping on 
So uh, what makes it very funny is that kind of culture shock or uh, rather um, like mindset differences uh, between uh, like Eric Judor who like gets really surprised and kind of um, uh, doesn't always understand the mindset of the hippie people and, and that community um, and what happens is that there is a pandemic so in a, in a epidemic uh, in the outside world uh, and they end up being the the the, the own like uh, the, the, the only survivors uh, are on uh, the planet. Uh, so once the news has sunk in, uh, it's, they actually take it as a, like a great, they think it's a great opportunity, maybe a, a divine sign uh, that uh, they, they get given the chance to rebuild a, a better world without the sense of ownership um, and of inequalities that they um, that they were refusing from the like normal world but uh, it reminded me a little bit of the um well i don't know but uh, a, mo a novel that i read lord of the flies or uh, even the, the series Lost, when you are by yourself and have to uh, create a, a new society, can you really uh, not uh, give in into like uh, inequalities and uh, one person being above the others, like a leader, uh, is, is such a word possible? So I'm not going to uh, spoil it for you because I, I really enjoyed it. I would say, maybe not as much the last um, 10 minutes or so of the movie but to his credit i was wondering until the very end how they how are they going to manage to uh to wrap things up to to, to tie it up because um like i don't see how this could um let's say the situation would be able to, to change evolve more uh because i knew it was going to be like uh, end of movie time soon um yeah so the, the the end is almost not an end and it's well, um but i did have a very uh, good time because i laughed and also it gave me food for thought it made me sad a little bit as well but I didn't cry uh i thought it was a a good movie it actually uh ticked all the boxes of what i was uh, looking for entertainment and a little bit of uh of thought as i said so uh, watch my next video to see what the second movie of the uh, alliance francaise french film festival i went to see uh, for this year of 2018